Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I have my Scentsy Club um, to share with you. So I have a quarterly club. I know I say this all the time. If you're interested in a club, I am a Scentsy consultant. What a club is, all the ins and outs. You can like ask your consultant, ask me. Um, but anyway, with Scentsy Club, it's always got my bar. So if you put something in your club and then Scentsy discontinues it or they're going to discontinue it and you put it in your club, Scentsy will always make it for you. So I have a quarterly club, which means I get it every three months. The last time I got this club was in December. I really didn't touch my club that much. I should have been paying more attention to it. I threw some things in, I think more than one thing in um, when I knew that I wasn't going to be placing an order and that the item was going to go away. I wanted to make sure that I got it, so I threw it in my club. Now, some my, I feel like my club is a little bit ridiculous. I definitely need to make cuts. It will process again in June, which I usually skip June just because it's too hot here. But I do have, I know that there's definitely one thing in here that you can still get, but I'm so obsessed with the scent that since he brought it back and I should have taken it out of my club, but I got my, like I said, I got my club in December. My mom was diagnosed, um, was very, was sick in December. And then, um, I was kind of back and forth visiting her in January. And then, um, in January, January 22nd, I left, um, my house here in Arizona and, um, I was away. I was on the East Coast for five weeks um, until my mom died. So I really, since he was not like a focus for me, I wasn't checking my club to see if I should pull stuff I didn't edit, which I'm usually so much better about doing that. I just was, had a lot of other way more important things. So what? Now I have some extra wax, you know, not a big deal. So anyway, this is my Scentsy Club. I'm going to share with you, share with you guys what I have and what things I'm probably, which stuff I'm going to keep in my club and which things I'm probably taking out. I have to make that decision. All I did was cut the box open. I took the invoice out. Everything that was in my club shipped. So for my half price item, I did get this brick in sea salt and avocado. I do really like this scent. I think I have a bar of it. Do I really need bricks of wax? No. And this one did come um, like broken at the bottom, but it's not a big deal because none of the wax is exposed. The top just kind of comes on and off. That's okay. Very happy to have this. Um, the next time I get a club, I will get a different, I'll get a different brick. Apple butter frosting. I love this. This it will never come out of my club because not only do I like it, I have friends that like it that don't have it in their club. So it's good to, for me to have some, even if I don't melt it as fast as I'm getting it. Um, King cake. Okay. This is one that I threw in during Mardi Gras because, um, I wasn't planning on placing an order and I didn't want this to go away. So this is really good. I do not have scent notes. I'm sure You've heard the scent notes a bazillion times, but it's a delicious, very heavy, buttery bakery. It kind of reminds me a little bit of apple butter frosting. Let me just, because I just found this. Yeah, there's like some, you know, I don't know, bakery notes that are similar. So I'm glad that I did get um, King Cake. I don't, I'm going to keep that, I think, in my club. I'll see how that does on warm, and um, I'll probably keep that. Blackberry Orange Marmalade. Oh, this one, I, I love this, and I, like I said, only one bar every three months, so I feel like I do get through these in the fall and winter, so most likely this is not going anywhere. I wish that that would come back. I don't, I'm not even aware of the bring back my, I know I read through them of what's coming back for the next bring back my bar. And I feel like a lot of them I've already had. 
So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to like get the early access that consultants can get. Ruby Nectarine. This is one that I should have had like three in because I just want to be able to warm this whenever I want to and to know that I have backup. This is just such a delicious, bright, uh, like invigorating um, scent. It like makes me happy. I love that. I hope I never get sick of it. Caramel chestnut. Why am I still getting bars of this? I have, I think two bricks, but I, I like it. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to take it out. Vanilla Barnwood. Holy God, this is like one of the best Scentsy scents in, in my opinion. This is so good. It's so different. I had this in the pods. Well, it's currently going. And I put it in my bedroom, which I'll get, you know, I can like smell stuff in the pods in my bedroom, but never like a blaring scent. This was so strong in the pods. I had to take it out of my bedroom and like plug it in in the loft where it would have like more like air circulation or whatever. And I had to leave it in the loft for like two weeks and then I just put it back in my bedroom. So that is a strong one. I would recommend if you like this, which I, you probably can't even get this in the pods, right? What am I talking about? Anyway, love that. Lots of lavender. This is coming out of my club. I had bought two bars of it and I've warmed a bar in my master bathroom. It smells like nothing to me. It honestly smells like I have no wax. Now I can smell like very slight lavender, but it's just not worth it. This is not, in my opinion, club worthy. I just, it doesn't smell like anything. I can't keep stuff in. Um, yeah. Winterberry apple tea. I have two of these. So I love this scent. I feel like most people really like this. Uh, it's just a beautiful, like when the seasons start changing from fall to winter, or the first time it gets cold, like after summer, this is just such a gorgeous scent. I probably, I don't need two, right? See, I'm just thinking out loud and convincing myself that I don't need to keep everything. Um, this is White Sands from a couple Bring Back My Bars. And while this is not a favorite scent of mine, my youngest son really likes this. And by really likes, he's not asking for it to be warmed in his room every time he changes out his wax, but he does ask for it. So I do like to have it for him. Um, I don't warm it anywhere else. But his bedroom, it's not a favorite scent of mine. I know a lot of people really like this. He does. So I keep that. Simply Patchouli. This was a Bring Back My Bar. And I did not order them. Um, I did get like a few. And then I remember thinking like I can't get everything at that time. So that is why this ended up in my club. And I do really like this. This is a good, earthy, slightly dirt. Oh, with that, I don't know, earthy, like, scents. Make my mouth water. I mean, bakery, some bakery does too, but it's weird that earthy. Oh, this, I really like this. I'm hoping that this performs really well. This is something that I will need to be careful where, um, where I warm this. I don't think my husband would necessarily appreciate this. So this would be a good one for me to warm. Um, like when he's traveling, that's like perfect for me to warm either in the house. Cause I don't think my boys would care if that was like in the living room, but like in my bedroom and stuff. So I'm going to keep, well, we'll see how that does. But as of right now, that's not going anywhere. Um, toasted apple butter. Was this to bring back my bar? Okay, I wanted to get this to see if it was anything like apple butter frosting. And, um, yeah, this is just, like, okay to me. It was another... Let's see if I can quickly... Yeah, 
else. Okay. This Dutch apple bread. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this. Was this from like the fall collection? I love this. And yes, I'm keeping this in my club and apple butter frosting. They are different. This is so good to me. I'd never hear anybody talk about this. If you have warmed this Dutch apple bread, I would love to know what you think of it. I've warmed one or two bars of it and I, I love it. I had to put this in my club. I'm definitely not getting rid of this. This is so good to me. Um, it is a fantastic performer. I had this in the open concept. I think I warmed it once in the open concept and then I also warmed it once upstairs in like the hallway and the loft and stuff and it did great keeping that, but I wanted to compare it to this toasted apple butter. And this is just, eh, it's more spice than anything to my nose. Remember, I've never warmed this before. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It's not, it's not unique enough for it to hold a spot. I don't think in my club. So happy to have this. I don't see myself warming this anytime soon. It'll probably like hang out with me till, till the fall. Um, yeah, so the Dutch apple bread, I did, I put two in my club and I'm going to keep two in there because I really do like that. I did pick up another orange spice and everything nice. I think this was in my last club and I do, I like scents like this. Do I need a ton of this? No, um, but I'll keep it in for another couple cycles. This does not want to pop out. just want to smell the bottom. This is a good... Um, spiced orange, like, yeah, I am a sucker for that type of scent during the fall, winter, uh, who knows, I mean, I could warm this tomorrow, I'm just melting whatever I'm in the mood for, um, okay, so I got two cinnamons, I don't know why, I think I put this in my club before I had even smelled this, and then I ended up like, what, like I said, ordering some of the Bring Back My Bars. And I do like this. It's a very, like, big red dentine gum smelling on cold. It did really well um, in my loft. I don't need a whole bunch of it, though. So I feel like these two bars that I have, plus I think I have one more, that's plenty for me. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um club. Cherry's Jubilee. One of these in my club. I'm still, I don't know. I, I like this. I need to warm this again. Maybe this like coming weekend and like really pay attention to how it does because I have the maraschino sugar cookie like in, I have a brick or two. I think of that as well. Um, I don't know how many cherry things I need especially coming from somebody, I'm not like the biggest cherry lover. I like it, but there's other things I prefer. I don't know. I have, you know, several months to think about it, but I do want to get this warmed again because I think I've only warmed it once and just, I gotta, I have to be strict with myself. Rum Pum Plum. This did great. Uh, I like this so much better than um, the plum pastry thing. Yeah. And this is very deceiving on cold. This almost smells like a little, um, to me, like zucchini bread on cold, like vendor zucchini bread, which I'm not a fan of normally, but this thing warms so good and it definitely has a bakery note to it. So I do have two in my club. Um, I may keep two in for another little bit and then knock it down to one, but I don't see that going anywhere. Okay, this is my, you really didn't need to get these, but you did anyway, is the Starburst Sky. I should have just taken this out before my club processed because this is currently available. I love this. This was part of the Valentine's Day collection for 2023, right? It was Valentine's Day. I love this. It has been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. I've never smelled the true, actual perfume. I've smelled, um, you know, other perfumes that are like it or that dupe it. 
I just, I love this scent. I love it. Um, this is probably like right up there for me with Ruby Nectarine. And um, the Vanilla Barnwood, they're different. They're None of them are like each other, but I just, I love this and I don't get tired of this one. But I don't need to have it in my club right now because it is currently available. But I had three in there. And I'm getting a good stockpile, which is great because I'm never reaching into my stash thinking like this is my last bar. So it can come out um, because you can get that. That is a bar that you absolutely can get. I did get another Bananas from... Um, this is part of the Bring Back My Bar. And yes, this does not smell like real banana. This is candy. This is artificial. But the kid in me, just like bubblegum, I've said it before, I get a craving for it. Not very often. And it's like, I just wanted another bar. So probably going to keep this in for a little bit longer. I do like it. This will be great um, in the summer by itself. Mixed with like strawberry. Um you know, whatever. Okay. Mint to be merry, which if somebody told me I was going to fall in love with this the way that I did, I am a huge mint lover. Excuse me. This smells just like the Girl Scout cookies, thin mints when you take them out of the freezer and you open the cellophane bag, like fresh and they're frozen. That's what this reminds me of. I don't believe that there's chocolate in the scent notes. I could be wrong, but Catherine King um, had sent me a bar of this because I didn't order it when it was like the scent of the month. And I instantly fell in love and I believe I ordered a few and then I put them in my club, but um, three is probably excessive. I don't like to do that with club because it's like taking up like valuable real estate in there. So I'm probably just going to knock that down to one because my club definitely needs, definitely needs cuts here. Um, sugar plum berry. I love this. This was a brick, um, for the holidays. Oh gosh. 2022, maybe 2021. Um, the sense of the season collection. You guys, I love this. And I feel like a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't like this. I do. I put two in my club. Um, do I need two? Like, I'm just trying to think, like, how, when it gets close to Christmas, how many times am I really going to warm this with all the other choices and variety of, like, winter fall wax? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I should probably not be greedy and knock it down to one. So. I can be pretty ruthless when it comes to doing cuts, um, doing cuts to my club. Frosted ginger cookie, love this. Yep. And I warmed this in my kitchen and dining room and I, it was good. Like, I think I just warmed this last week or something. Yeah. I really like this. This definitely, I've compared it to those cookies. I'm not going to get into it again, but this definitely has lemon. I know lemon's not in scent notes. I feel like somebody said that it it was, like, when this first came out. I think Lemon was listed as a scent note, but over the years, it's not used to describe it. Um, then I have Happy Birthday, which is not my favorite. It's fine. It's like a funfetti birthday cake. It's not the best, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's good baker. It's good Scentsy Bakery. This is good mixed with stuff. I like to have it, um... You know, I'll warm it around, you know, for the kids' birthdays and stuff. But my mom loved this. This was, like, one of her favorites. So I kept it in my club, really, for her. And um, I would just mail her, mail her packages of Scentsy stuff. And then with, like, scents maybe that she hadn't tried. Um, but I always gave her the happy birthday. And I'm pretty sure she warmed this totally. I don't think she would mix this with anything. She liked this a lot. So, for that reason, like, I, now it makes, I just think of her with this. Um, so, it's like, I can't get rid of this. 
ever. Um, but plenty of people like it. It's good to give as gifts. I, I know listening to Natalie, um, Jersey Shore Living. I keep wanting to say Melt with Nat and Jack, but I believe it's Jersey Shore Living. She gives it as gifts too. And I used to, to co-workers, like as part of a gift, or if it was just like an acquaintance that I didn't really know very well, um, you know, give a bar of Sensi's Happy Birthday. Um, World Traveler. This was one that was a bring back my bar, but it was a club exclusive, right? Was that this one or was that Inner Peace? I feel like it was World Traveler. I love this one and the boys love this one too. So again, they're not like crazy obsessed like me where, you know, you need 16 of one cent. Like they'll ask, oh, do you have World Traveler? And if I'm like, no, we used the last one. It's not coming for three months. They're fine. <laughs> um... But they both like it, so I'm, you know, sometimes they don't care what I warm in their rooms. Other times they specifically ask for something. So I'm keeping this. It's just, it, again, it's not like other Scentsy scents. I'm very glad that I have it. Um, and then last but not least is Apple Cherry Strudel. You guys, I know, lots of people talk about this one. Um, and usually I want the stamina of the wax. I want you to tell me that like, I'll put this in at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna smell it the next morning. That is not this bar, but for some reason, I am okay with that. I am okay with this. This thing is loud and proud when you put it in. Oh, and it's just so scrumptious, but then it fizzles out. So this is, one that if you're going to put it in in the morning, like in your kitchen and dining room, that's where you want to be <laughs> while this is warming and enjoy the few hours that you get. To me, it is totally worth it. It, it Yeah, it is. So I don't have any plans um, of ever taking this out of my club. I hope that we see this, you know, that it, this like continues to come back. Um you know, like fall, winter and stuff. I just, I really love it. A lot of stuff, like I said, with that, lots of lavender or whatever, that has no scent at all. To me, it's like, I'm not keeping, I'm not keeping it. And I feel like even if it was like very light, I don't think I would. I just, there's only certain things that I'm willing to like justify keeping, even if it's not like a fantastic performer. So that is everything that I have in my club. Again, I think I'm probably going to skip June. Let me know, is it excessive with having more than one of the same fragrance? Um, you know, like two, let's just say like two of the rum, pum, plum. Um, because again, I don't do a monthly club. I don't do a bi-monthly club. I just have my quarterly. Um, and it's like once you get like like hooked on a scent or whatever, the thought of not having it. Like I totally get that. We've all had sensey heartbreaks where we were so sure something wasn't going to go, you know, something was going to come back and then it didn't. Um, but I just feel like rum pum plum is like sweet plum pastry. It's so much better. It's just so much better. So curious if you've tried sweet plum pastry and you've tried rum pum plum, which do you like better? Do you get a bakery note from rum Plum, plum. Um, and yeah, this things I need to, you know, I definitely need to make some edits. Just wasn't on, it wasn't a priority at the time. So that is everything that I have. I will leave my Scentsy link um, down below. Thank you to everybody that has been ordering. I so, so appreciate it. Um, and if you have any questions or if I have a favorite of yours here, or do we have any similar, do we have any of the same things in our clubs? I would love to know. I hope you are all doing well, having a wonderful week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.